everybody, welcome back to the Soapy Cauldron. So tonight, as you can see, it's dark outside. I'm not gonna say today, because clearly it's nighttime. Tonight, I am making a soap that goes perfectly with nighttime, and that is the Sleepy Soap. Um, it's based on the Sleepy Potion that is mentioned in Harry Potter. Um, I've made this soap a lot, actually. It's one of the first soaps I ever made, but I don't think I ever filmed it. I think I filmed cutting it, but I don't think I've ever filmed actually making it so I'm going to do that tonight for you but I'm also going to be using a different fragrance oil it's going to be the exact same scent but I'm using a different brand um, usually I use nature's I'm sorry usually I use nurture's uh, nurture soaps brand and tonight I'm using crafters choice and the fragrance is lavender and tonka but um, what it is is it's basically a duplicate from sleepy from Lush. So if you've ever gone to the Lush store and had like this sleepy lotion, um, that is what this soap smells like. It is my favorite soap that I have ever made. It's just one of my favorite scents. Um, and typically, if you've ever bought a bar before, you'll notice that my um, bars are brown and I'm going to try tonight to make it uh, purple like it's supposed to be. The fragrance oil that I had been using had been turning my bars brown. This fragrance oil said that it does not discolor, so hopefully we can get it back to the pretty purple that it always was supposed to be. So if you'd like to know how I do it, then please don't stop watching. Okay, as we start every single batch of soap, we start off with oils and we start off with lye and water. And in this one, I added some kaolin clay right before I started filming. So I'm just stirring it in um, so there are no clumps, but when I blend it all together, it won't matter. It'll uh, take care of most of the clumps for me. But I'm just stirring it in because in my flat top bars, I like to add kaolin clay because it just makes a nice slip. Um, and since I'm not dealing with fragrance, it doesn't matter usually if it accelerates the soap because it's all just one layer anyways. So I'm going to add my lye and water to my oils and then I'm going to stick blend it all together. Okay. Scoot it over so you can see it. There. Okay. So let's stick blend this together. Okay, this looks nice and incorporated so I'm going to go ahead and add my mica and tonight I'm using Ultra Violet by Nurture Soap. It's like a really pretty deep purple so I'm hoping that this will get my bar back to the original purple that I intended it to have. So I'm going to put a generous scoop of purple in there and we are going to mix this up and hope that the fragrance oil does not turn it a different color. This is not the purple that I intended, so I'm gonna add another scoop. I have a little bit of purple on the sides that is not blending up properly, so I am just trying to scrape it and see if I can get it off in the center so I can stir it up. And I'm also going to pour in my fragrance oil at this time so we can all blend everything together. And let's all hope and pray that this does not change the color. Okay, it's still a pretty purple. So I am going to pour it into the mold. All right, so let's just get to pouring straight in. This is a very simple soap, um, and I think that it will finally hold its true color because the other fragrance oil that I used instantly turned it brown, so it wasn't even like a question whether it would or wouldn't because some fragrance oils would do it as your soap cures, it'll get darker, but the fragrance oil that I was using from Nurture Soap um, instantly caused it to turn brown. So I'm gonna scrape out my red bowl. And that, guys, is literally it for this soap. It smells so good. So again, 
if you have ever gone into a Lush store, um, it is the Sleepy or I think also um, the Twilight. So Sleepy or Twilight, that is what this smells like, but it has lavender and tonka beans and it's just my all time favorite soap scent I've ever made. It's just so good and calming. Okay, I'm going to knock it down off camera because I don't want it to uh, jar the camera, but that is it until it's time to cut it up. All right, let's cut some soap. I don't know if you can tell from the top, but before I um, put it away to like cure for the night, I kind of cut like a little, I don't know, quilt work pattern in it. Uh, I don't know, thought it was kind of cute. Anyways, let's see how this turns out. I am first of all excited because it stayed purple. So that's nice. Still a really shape, really pretty shade of purple. Excited for that. And it also smells really similar to the other fragrance oil I was using, so that's also really nice. So they're all purple. Nothing special about them, other than the fact that they smell great. And this fragrance oil does not turn my soap brown, so love that. I think that this is the fragrance oil brand that I will be using from now on. And I like the way that the tops came out. Kind of looks like a little quilt. Super cute. What is your favorite fragrance? If you've bought any of my soaps, what is the best one that you have smelled? And then if you've not bought any, what is a scent that you are waiting on me to make? I bought several, several scents from um, different companies based on the survey that I posted the other day. So if you haven't had a chance, make sure you post that survey because I do read all of the comments and I have actually purchased several fragrance oils based on the comment. Um, the chocolate frog soap that I made, that was based on a comment. The sorcerer stone red soap I made, that was based on a comment. Soap on my finger. <laughs> Um, I bought a peach that I'm planning on making a soap with because uh, that was a requested fragrance. Um, the Garden in the Summer, the Honeysuckle, that was a requested fragrance. So I'm listening for sure. I'm always trying to do what y'all want because if I don't do something y'all want, who's going to pay for this soap? No, I'm kidding. Um, but anyways, let me know in the comments what particular soap scent you are waiting on and I might do it next. Let's see, cut this in half so we can get an extra sample bar out of that. Mm -hmm. 